All right, guys, Mr. G here, and today we're talking about ship building games. Uh, apologies for my pipes are a little beat up, but we're going to bang this out because I love vehicle building games. We cover a lot of them on the channel. We're going to cover three today, starting with number one, Nimbatus. It is a starship drone simulator game. You're basically at the edge of the universe, and you've got to fight off all these AI drone things while mining for resources. And each new world or sector you're going to be in is going to provide a unique challenge, and you'll have to craft a drone ship uh, to deal with those challenges. So similar to like Trail Makers or other games or Besiege, where you're going to travel to a level and you're going to have to find a way to do it, but with a two-dimensional, top-down, scorched earth-style mining, drone-fighting, Atari-style game. Uh, the learning curve is not terrible. It's one of those easy to play, hard to master games because it can get really complex. Just like No Man's Sky, you could add switches and you know intelligence and sensor and you've got to look at this, it's got auto firing lasers on the back. None of my builds were nearly that complex. Um, starting out in this game, it does have a decent tutorial. It's not great. I would recommend watching some YouTube videos on how to play it if you're interested in checking it out. You can see my drone that I built was not great. It can fly mostly okay and it can shoot um it's 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 not ideal but it's a very well done game i checked it out about a year ago it's a lot more complete now than it was then next number two starship theory i absolutely love ftl and i love RimWorld. they're probably two of my all-time favorite games uh, and this game kind of ticks both of those boxes now i say kind of because it's a one-man dev team and he kind of went MIA due to personal life issues uh, going on. That being said though, the concept behind this game is fantastic. So you start out in like, whether it's a mining ship, a military ship, or an escape pod, and you have to craft yourself a better ship, keep your crew alive, trade with other ships, blow up asteroids, get resources, build your ship out all while repairing it and keeping it alive and functioning in space. Uh, it's a fun little game. It's only $4.99 right now on Steam, so you can get it and try it out if you don't love it. I mean, you only busted yourself out of $4.99. Um, decent game. It's got some things in it that are a little finicky, um, but it's not ridiculously hard to figure out. Um, it's pretty straightforward and pretty simple. It's not too complicated. You're going to start building right away. You can assign crew members roles. It's going to be really familiar to anybody who's played uh, anything similar to RimWorld. Um, it was a fun little game. I'd like to give some more time into it because I want to build myself a Star Destroyer or something crazy because this game uh, will let you do that. You can make yourself a massive capital ship, but you're kind of just adrift in space and there's not a lot going on. It's very sandboxy. So if you want a campaign, that's not it. Number three on my list is Avorian, Avorion. Uh, I spent some time with this one, but never got a chance to make a video on it. I was playing it off camera. Uh, but I enjoyed it. This is the only three-dimensional ship builder of the three. So you're going to, very similar to Starship Theory, you're going to start with like a little Starship core. And you're going to have to get resources and you're going to have to add and build on to your ship. Building yourself a capital ship. Um, doing things like trade missions, mining, fighting other ships, exploring new sectors, and growing your ship along the way. Unlocking new parts, new technology new minerals and new elements to make your ship more powerful as you go. Definitely the most complex of the series. Um, it's tricky. All my ships looked like flying rectangles. Uh, <laughs> they weren't anywhere near as beautiful as the ones in this gameplay trailer. You can see you've got shields, you've got auto firing turrets, you've got missiles and torpedoes you can use, you can dock with a number of stations, a lot of procedurally generated stuff in this game. Um, but really, really complicated as far as the way you can dial in, how your ship functions, all the way down to the physics and the center of mass, the amount of crew you have, the energy you're going to need. There's a lot going on under the hood in Evorian, but definitely a very cool game. It's got a good control scheme. It works. I do recommend it. Uh, it's not a ton on Steam. I think last time I checked, it was around 20 bucks, so worth checking out. Nimbatus, also not ridiculously expensive as well. Starship Theory, though, is definitely the cheapest of the three. Uh, I enjoyed Avorian a lot. 
Starship Theory, I want to give more time to it, and the same to Nimbatus. I'm going to probably play some more of these off camera, but I thought I'd put together a little video of three Starship building games for all you building nerds out there. So like and subscribe to stay up to date on cool games. I'm going to catch you guys later. Mr. G out.